sophomores, we are going to take you through step by step about how to choose your courses and all of your options for your junior year. In your English class, you will be receiving a copy of your transcript to assist you in enrollment and a paper copy of the enrollment form and the demographic forms. These two forms must be filled out, signed by a parent, and returned to school after spring break when your counselors visit your English classrooms. Let's go over each document, starting with the Diploma Pathways. You will see the two diplomas that we offer to students. Both the Standard and the Diploma of Distinction are College Preparatory Pathways. To find your chosen diploma plan, look on the bottom left corner of your transcript. If there is not a diploma pathway, assume that you are on a Standard Diploma Plan. You will see the coursework that must be completed for each diploma. In order to see what classes you still need, print off the credit check sheet, fill it out with the classes you have already taken and passed to decipher what you have left to take. Remember, in your three or four science courses, depending on your chosen diploma pathway, one must be a life science and one must be a physical science. Now let's look at the junior enrollment form. The front side of the form is what will be filled out and turned in. The back side of the form is where all your course options are listed. You will see that the first step is to choose your schedule. You will notice that you have the opportunity to take a six hour day. If you do not need bus transportation and have at least nine credits currently, check the bottom of your transcript for the number of credits you currently have. Please circle your schedule choice. The bullet points that follow are intended to help you enroll correctly and to inform you about enrolling in, an a in AP courses. Please read these thoroughly. As you start to choose your classes, you will enroll in English, Math, Science, U.S. History, and any other classes you need for your Diploma Pathway. State law dictates that you enroll in at least six hours to be a full-time high school student, so you need to choose at least six classes and two alternates. You will find the list of courses to choose from here on the course offering page, which will be on the back of the hard copy you receive. This coming year, you have the choice of virtual classes as well as in-person classes in any combination. This document, the PVP Piedmont Virtual Program, outlines the framework, commitment required, and virtual curriculum utilized in our virtual courses. Descriptions of all the virtual courses can be found here on the PHS Virtual Course Catalog. Descriptions of all the in-person courses being offered can be found here in the PHS course catalog. Students who are currently enrolled in CVTC, Biomed, or Pre-Engineering will be able to enroll in each course you will take for your program. If you know those courses, please write those in on the enrollment form. No other student should pre-enroll in CVTC. If you applied and are accepted, your request will be changed by your counselor. If you plan to enroll in concurrent, that process will happen later. All students must go through this enrollment process and enroll in six high school courses. Your course selections will be changed when you are fully enrolled in concurrent classes and your counselor has a copy of your college schedule. There will be a concurrent Facebook Live event on the evening of parent-teacher conferences March 23rd and 25th. Emails with more information about this event and concurrent classes that will be offered here at PHS will be coming this week. At the bottom of the enrollment form are two boxes. The first box should be checked if you are enrolling in any virtual course or courses. The second box is for anyone who would like to have the chance to take their U.S. History course during zero hour. If you cannot fit these courses into your regular school day and you prefer not to take them virtually, you may check the second box and will be contacted. The last step in this process is to have your parent sign the bottom of the enrollment form, as well as make corrections and sign the demographic form that you received. These two documents must be turned return to the school on Monday, March 22nd or 23rd, as counselors will collect these forms and will be in your English classes to walk you through the process of putting your course requests into PowerSchool. It is important that you get your forms filled out and see or email your counselor this week if you have any questions concerning your enrollment. 
If you do not bring your forms back on Monday or Tuesday after spring break, you will still choose courses to put into PowerSchool during those enrollment times. Why won't it stop? <laughs> 